Last week, he gave £250,000 to Labour, becoming their single biggest donor so far this year. But he says he has nothing to hide. Dale Vince is a fan of fast cars, but they're electric, so they're not far removed from his new age traveller background. He is now a multi-millionaire through his company Ecotricity, which provides green electricity with a turnover of some £70 million. Last week, he made a quarter of a million pounds donation to the Labour Party, during a week in which its leader was fighting a crusade against tax avoidance and the shadow chancellor Ed Balls was railing against window cleaners who work cash in hand. Well, in his first interview, since questions were raised about his tax affairs, I spoke to Vince Dale. A short, that's Dale Vince. I don't know why that appeared like that. But I began by suggesting that maybe Ed Miliband should have checked whether there were any skeletons in his own cupboard before accusing Conservative donors of tax avoidance. Well, not in my case, because there are no skeletons in that wardrobe. Uh, I think it's a smear, and that's a very unfortunate thing. But a lot of people would be mystified that you can possibly take a an interest-free loan of £3.2 million pounds and, and delay paying tax on it? There's been no delay in paying tax. The company's paid tax on it. I pay tax on the, uh, on the rate of interest uh, that, that's below market, and uh, the loan will be repaid probably in about 12 months' time. It's, it's simply a loan. There's the rate no... of interest below market, just for the yeah. amateurs, tell us. Sorry, that sounded complicated, but um, I, I don't actually know if it's a zero rate of interest or if it's a low rate of interest. But if there's any benefit the tax man sees below a market rate of interest, he charges tax on that. You mean you've got a loan that you're not sure whether you are paying any interest or not? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Shouldn't the company yeah. know about that? Um, it's not actually a big deal. But, but people who don't have 3.2 million to, to kind of borrow will think it is. Um, well, it's being paid back, so, you know, it, it kind of really doesn't matter. So yeah. for quite a long time you could, if you wanted, say, keep the loan out for quite a few years and at least not have to pay tax for a long time and then have to pay a great deal. Uh, uh, yeah, if it's taken as income, then you have to pay income tax on it. But in my case, it is a loan. It will be repaid um, and nothing dodgy has gone on at all. And it's quite, quite common. Um, for people to borrow money from their own companies. It's a much more convenient way than borrowing it from a bank, for example. Uh, not everybody has access to that. I understand that. I'm in a position of some privilege in that case. Uh, but it's quite normal. You don't think that the Tory party treasurer, Stanley Fink, is right when he says, look, everybody does it? Uh, no, I don't. No, I think that's wrong. So, I mean, there's no way in which you've ever minimised your tax bill. Avoiding tax is... is being based in a tax haven and, and having secret Swiss bank accounts and stuff like that, isn't it? Paying tax according to tax rules is not avoiding tax. You, you, you bought a castle in the last couple of years and I'm just wondering uh, whether you mind paying the mansion tax? Not at all. I don't object to it because I think the better off among us have a duty to pay more and if it's a choice between uh, that and uh, families being able to afford their children then, uh, you know, I know which I'm going to choose. I think the rise of food banks in our country uh, is a disgrace in the last few years and we need to do something about it. You'll have a large number of windows. Uh, have you got a receipt off your window cleaner? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, John, I don't know. Do you perceive Labour as having a problem with business? Uh, no, I don't, actually. I think that's just something that's a bit of a media stereotype. Um, I think if you look at what Labour is saying about business, uh, um, you know, they're saying some sensible things.